Hello there, I'm Sir Fancy and in this tutorial I'll show you how to spawn enemies based on music that's currently playing. Let me show you how it looks like. You can see music and enemies spawning and dancing towards you because that's what we all want. I have already made a tutorial how to work with music and spawn different things based on music in Unreal Engine, so if you want to watch that, link is somewhere here. Well, let's get started. I'm using just third person project template from Unreal Engine, blah blah blah, you all know that. And the asset that I have prepared is some music that we can use. And to be honest, this is not really a real good song for that. It would be much better if I had something with bigger differences on the spectrum, but hey, let's ignore that, it will do the job. And it's copyright free, which is the most important thing. And also I added here some skeleton that I can use to demonstrate how everything works. And he's dancing, obviously, because we are working with music. First of all, let's head into edit and plugins and make sure that you have enabled audio synesthesia and make sure that it's enabled each should be enabled by default and we will need to create offline analyzing objects so let's create here sounds analysis and synthesia nrt and let's click on constant if you have something that you want to be spawned only when the song is loud you can of course use loudness etc 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 but we will work with constant and let's call it and we will have only one so let's call it song nrt Open that and let's set here, of course, our song, in my case, be a hero, looped. Well, now let's get to creating blueprint logic that will take care of everything. So right click, create here blueprint, just actor, and let's call it just spawner underscore BP. Open that. And first of all, what do you will want to do here is add here sound. So put here, oh no, audio is, how is it called? Yeah, audio file or just audio. And you don't have to set it to anything, we will do it in event graph. Because on event begin play, let's take out audio, delete everything else except event begin play, and set uh, sounds. Connect it and as our sound, promote to variable. Call it my sound. All right, compile, and of course, let's set it to be a hero. Needs to be the same thing as before. Then what you will want to do is to take that sound and save its length. So take it from here and find here duration promote it to variable and now from here we will take our audio and we want to create a bind event on audio percent change uh, -da -da, bind event on audio playback percent exactly that connect it here and you will of course want to create an event so take it from here and custom event let's call it play sound now we will have to create new variable, so just copy this one, so to do, duplicate, and let's call it plate time. Set it here, and we will set it to our playback percent times duration. So get duration, and set it to times float times float, and connect right here. And now we, are, now we also need to get reference for that new object. Let's create a new variable, and we will set it in variable type to constant qnrt enter an object reference and let's call it my sound nrt right take it here and of course don't forget as our default value let's set our song nrt then from here what you want is to get normalized channels constant at qnt blah 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 and in seconds let's connect our plate time or you can just take it from here all right now let's set it to our constant queue and we will put here for loop and finally start spawning something but before we actually start spawning something i know i kind of hyped you right now we will need to figure out how much we need to set our threshold to what it should spawn so let's put here print string and connect our array element that will tell us in what values it is approximately in so make sure you put it in the game spawner bp in here and i would almost sort of forgot in our spawner bp after bind event you also have to play that audio so audio take it here and play and i will actually mute that song so you don't hear it from my microphone you just imagine that some music is playing but we can see that it is actually playing and it's moving between 0 0.5 to 0 0.6 sometimes 0 0.7 so i would say that around those 0 0.7 we could have something interesting so let's test that what we will do is to start here with the threshold so move that here and want to set that less 
than low. And we want it to be less than 0. Point. Oh no, actually, we need this to be more than something. So I need a float and that float needs to be bigger than 0. 0.7. Let's try 0. 0.7. Put here a branch. And if it is bigger than that, you can continue printing. Let's see how often that will happen. That's still way too often. So let's try 0. 0.8. Ah, it's much slower, but still way too high. Let's try 85. Oh, that's starting to look interesting. But sometimes you can see that it spawns a lot of them at the same time. We will fix that in a moment. But let's first of all change this to actually start spawning now, now for real. So uh, first of all, let me quickly show you how I have set up the character in my skeleton right here. On play, he will start dancing and following me. And how it is simply set up is in edit pp. On event begin play, it will get reference to self, set AI move to, and move to player pawn. That's everything it has. And just make sure that you have here, after pressing P, nav mesh volume. So make sure that you have it in your world. That's thing a lot of people forget. Make sure that it's in there. All right, now back in spawner BP. What you want to do, if that threshold is higher, create or spawn actor from class. I will need to find some location. So give me here arrow. Somewhere around that, and I shouldn't have compiled. Put it here, get world transform. And what you want is set collision default handling to spawn, uh, to try to adjust location, don't spawn if it's, it's still colliding. That should do the job. And let's set our class, of course, to in my case, skeleton actor or skeleton bp all right let's click on play and it should be spawning our dude based on that music and it's not happening why is that oh it's probably because our arrow is right in the air and we set it to not spawn when it's in the air so let's put it somewhere here and you can see it's spawning them and it's spawning probably way too many of them and also they are not moving and that's because when you actually spawn it you need to spawn default controller so so let's put here spawn uh, AI from class. No, spawn default controller. That should help. You guys are still not following it, but that's not that weird, honestly. AI move to is usually quite buggy. So what you, what sometimes helps is to create new nav mesh or just uh, rebuilding everything, etc, etc, etc. All right, so in the end, what fixed the problem in skeleton, I had to put a short delay before it starts moving. So. That's the thing, let's put it on 0 0.5 to be sure. It's It just sometimes happens that code runs too fast on one part and doesn't fast fa doesn't run fast enough on second part. So things like that happen. Delays can help with a lot of stuff. Now you can see it's running and following it, spawning based on the music, which is cool. But I think that sometimes it's still spawning way too many of them. And that is, of course, this issue. So what we will do here is to put here a do once node. And make sure, oh, also I change it to do not spawn, but it doesn't matter, you can leave it in what we had. And we'll put here short delay, let's say 0 0.2 seconds should be enough, and restart it after that. So it won't ever spawn faster than 0 0.2 seconds from each other. Let's see if that got rid of our problem. We still got a problem, but not that many of them, maybe let's try to increase the delay. So, in spawner. Let's try 0 0.8. Looks kind of funny when you don't hear the music, but I think that we can all imagine that. All right, let's go that, close that. And seems like our error is no more. Let me run it for a bit if it doesn't run later in the song, but it shouldn't be a problem. They will of course stop after they reach you because they are set up like that. You could have to set it to on fail or on success to change, etc, etc. All right, close it. And we still got the problem. Why is that? All right, let's simply add here one more node. Put here is valid. And let's do it as a function. So is valid right here. And if it is valid, let's connect it right here. And if it's not valid, let's just reset it. It's kind of strange that it's doing this error, but you know what, there are sometimes things between Unreal and developer that you just can't explain. Let's see if that fixed our problem. 
Oh, that seems to fix it completely. I had here a bit of an army right now, so I don't suppose it should be a problem anymore. Alright, that's about it. I hope that you learned here something, that now you can create some enemies based on music, or just let them attack at the time based on music, etc, etc. If you want to get project files for this, they are on my Patreon, and huge thank you to everyone who is already on Patreon, you really helped me do all this. So, that's about it. Surfancy out, and see you around. Out.